All right, real quick, just how we end every meeting. So let's start this one that way. We're going to clap on the count of three in unison. One, two, three. That's what I'm talking about. You know, we got a lot of new faces in here, some guys that were on that journey with us last year. Uh, a little bit about me, like why I'm here. Um, I'm, I, I want to win. That's it. I got to experience some, a lot of winning in my playing career. I know what that looks like. And we got a lot of guys in here that have seen that too and know what that looks like. In this room, 14 first rounders, 10 gold gloves, 10 all-stars, 10 World Series champions, three silver sluggers, two rookies of the year, uh, ERA title, an all-star game MVP, an NLCS MVP, and a standalone MVP. But that don't mean shit coming into this season. It's about how we connect as a group. We have to come together as a group and pull for one another, fight for one another, lift each other up when we're struggling, help each other out when we make a mistake, have each other's back. It's done little the trust in each other that's gonna carry us through those tough moments. All right, I'm ready to get to work. So Andy, what time stretch? All right boys, let's have a great year. One, two, three. Yeah. Obviously, feel really encouraged by the guys that we brought in. Feel like we've taken some step forward with a major league team with, you know, different players, and feel like we got a really good mix of, of players in the clubhouse here. I think Jen and I were, were looking at the team and feeling like, hey, we have an opportunity to take a significant step forward to where, you know, we're a lot more excited about this team coming into spring training. We wanted to be very deliberate on making sure that when we brought people in, that they were going to be listened to, that they were preaching the right things. They're preaching the right mindset. They're preaching the toughness that you need over 162 games. You know, Dansby was certainly a guy that we identified, um, and I think the league is identified as, as a person like that. Good morning, good morning. All right, let's go ahead. You want to go behind the back? I've trusted my gut a lot in my life and it's always led me into the right place. I feel like those gut feelings kind of like nudges from the good Lord, like saying like, this is what I want you to do and where I want you to be. If I'd be sitting here like lying to you, saying that like I didn't feel a little bit bittersweet about leaving and all those kinds of things. I mean, that's home, right? It was my first time like leaving home in over seven years. But I love challenges. I love opportunities to like be able to grow. That's what excites me. It me to be a part of a team and a culture that wants to win. Ever since I've been part of this Cubs family, like it has felt just that. It's felt like a family. It's just so uh, like intimate, you know. Yeah, I love it's a circle, so you can see it. Yeah, like yeah. How are you? As we were going deeper and deeper into free agency, Carter Hawkins was the first guy that I uh, reached out to. He actually played baseball with my brother growing up. He obviously went to Vanderbilt. When I called him, I, the first thing I said on the phone was like, I need you to give it to me as straightforward and honest possible. Like not as a Chicago Cub, but as a, like a Vanderbilt, like a fellow Atlantan, and he did. I knew there was a base layer of trust there that we already had, um, but at the end of the day, like he wanted to know what our plan was and how we were gonna get the Cubs to where we wanna, wanna get as an organization, as a city, as a fan base. We're thrilled. We love the fit. Uh, we couldn't be more excited to, to bring Dansby and, and the Swansons uh, to Chicago. It's not necessarily just about player talent, but it was about how to build talent, how to attract talent, how to cultivate a good group. Um, all the things that really lead to you know, winning franchises. The vision and the goal is to win. Winning is the priority.
I'm glad I went to CubsCon, obviously, to be able to see the fans and just how important Cubs baseball is to them. Thank you, sir. But also to be able to meet teammates for the first time. I called him and I was like, hey, man. I was like, no Cubs. Like, give it to me straight. Like, Vandy to Vandy guy. Like, what the is going on here? Like, I was, I was like, are we actually going to be any good? It, you know, and he's like, yeah. And he like gave me the spiel, and I was like, okay. Dude, there's a lot of good momentum like going. Yeah, that's what I told. I told Rossi. I was like, and then Nico and myself, then Happer and left, and Belly and center, and Say is pretty good, and right? Makes everything. I think we're gonna be good. Thank you. Do you kids? I'm coming back, back down. Yeah. I'm going right to stand on this side. Got to find my way. I don't know anybody. How you, do how nice you doing? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Right? Hello to Hubby Dawson. How you doing? Dance me. True Hall of Famer. Nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah. You good? Good. You ready? We're ready. Yeah. Ready to go. Ready to go. 2023, let's do it. Going over the people that we and do know, which is very yeah. limited. I've been getting yeah. overwhelmed trying to remember everyone. Didn't you just get engaged? I did. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. Just wait till y'all get married, dude. Just wait, wait till the wedding planning. Okay. Just wait. I did exactly what Mal told me to do. Yeah. I was, she's like, this is what I want, and I said, yes, ma'am. Yeah, you got it. Let's see if I have any actual proposal pictures. That's us just happy. Everyone's chilling on the beach. It was like that, just like cotton candy sky, golden hour. This offseason's definitely had a lot. New team, new city, uh, first time in Arizona spring training, first time having a car in a couple of years. We're moving across the country. She flew up yesterday to close on the place in Chicago. I feel like Chicago is a perfect place to land. Um, you know, that was one city that we both had extremely high on our list. But you go into free agency and you're not sure who's going to really be interested. So maybe the first day of uh, free agency opening, the Cubs called and I was just like, yes, I love the city. I love the field. Like, I just feel like I have this next gear that I, I think I can hit. I, I want to try my dang best to hit it. And the Cubs kind of like that matched up with what they were thinking. Jameson is a guy that has faced an unbelievable amount of adversity in his career. He's had two Tommy Johns, and he's had a cancer diagnosis. He, he has fought through a lot. Like, there's not much that we could throw at him that would that would be more than what he's already faced. You know, knowing somebody that they can really face adversity that way is very appealing. But then also felt like, you know, he's got great stuff that we can help get better. learning a new slider right now. Slider's always been like an okay pitch for me. I think we're trying to make it a weapon. I'm Jameson, by the way. Nice to meet you. I think I'm ready. Huh. What's that last that one? Yeah, that one. Run here. It looked like it ran. Mmm. No way. Felt some good tension on that one. Let's recreate it. I mean, that's when, when you can throw it at the bottom of the zone and it looks like it has that little plane out. Yeah. Yes. Thing's been consistent. Yeah. It's so similar to my old slider grip too that I have good feel with it. That one. That's the one. Good stuff. Man. Thank you. Opening day spring training, best thing in the world. 
I feel successful when I'm putting my best foot forward, staying curious, staying passionate about what I'm doing. You should wake up every morning chasing that potential uh, just to see how good you can be. Competing is just part of the puzzle, right? Like you compete to win. Not the commitment to try. This isn't like a participation trophy. Like this is about winning at the end of the day. I don't think anyone else would have it any other way. Um, so when you start to make everything about winning, that's what starts to happen. Oh, that's a good pitch right there. Good start for Jamo. No hitter. The Chicago Cubs collaborating for a no-no against the San Diego Padres. Bye-bye. At the wall, it's gone. We got another one. We do have another yeah. one. The boys are hot. The boys are hot. A nice win for your Chicago Cubs. Go Cubs, go.